Hello everybody. So today we're going to look at another way of doing our conditional statements that we're going to run into when we do programming. Now we're going to do this condition inside of pseudocode just so we have an idea of how do we describe what it is that we need to have done. So I'm going to come over here and take a look and we've already got an example that we previously looked at about determining can someone drive? We have to check to make sure they're over 16 and that they have a license. Now, if we didn't care about all those other else blocks and we didn't have anything else, all we cared about was those two conditions. I actually don't need to have two nested if statements. Instead, I can simplify this and have one if statement. I can simply say, if age is greater than 16, then instead of that then, I'm going to write AND, and I'm going to write it in all caps so it just stands out. I like to have my Boolean operators very visible because then I'm going to bring in the HAS license, just like you see there. So I have two conditions, and with my AND, both of them have to be true. Now, once I've done that, I only need to end it one time, and so I've got my print, you can drive. And then I'm going to remove my two else's. Those are not necessary in this case. I can't test if one condition is false. It's only a global. Are both true? If they're both true, then they're true. If either one is false, the whole thing is false. And that's the way it is with and. You might ask, well, can I test for three conditions or four conditions? The answer is yes. All I have to do is put another and in between the second and third and third and fourth and on and on we go. Now, typically, we only see three or four conditions at most. Now, in a rare case, you'll have more. I think the most I've ever run into is like six or seven. That's still pretty odd. Okay. Typically, we just see a couple if we have it at all. And that's how we do it. Now, you might be asking, well, wait a second, what happens if I only need one of those conditions to be true? Well, instead of and, I could use or. Or means the first condition or my second condition. And I could once again have multiple ones. So I could have condition one or condition two or condition three. And if any one of those is true, my true block will execute and run. So just a little way, it's a whole lot easier than have a bunch of nested if statements, especially if you have a lot of statements. And so this, I think, is a lot easier for us to write and learn how to use. Hopefully this example was helpful for you in writing your conditional statements in pseudocode. If so, you also might want to check out our next video, which is what do you do when you have a sequence of statements that you want to check out for. So watch that video. It's coming up and I'll see you there.